I recently made a video where I visited 10 stadiums in one day, the first of which was here at Goodison Park. And I commented in that video that I hope they keep some of the charm and tradition of the area when the football team Everton FC leave Goodison Park and move to their new stadium, which is to be based in the north of Liverpool in the Bramley Moor Dock area. A mate of mine sent me details in a link about the Everton legacy project, which I'll be taking you through in this video. So yeah, basically Everton isn't just going to be knocked down or Goodison rather isn't just going to be knocked down. There will be stuff to say that it once was here, which I love. I've seen so many old stadium locations that have nothing to say that there was once a stadium there. But yeah, rest assured Everton fans that won't be happening here. Also as part of the video, we will be visiting Bramley Moor Dock to visit where the, uh, where the new stadium is going to be. So yes, look at that. Goodison Park. What a lovely day for it. Please do remember to smash that like button and subscribe if you're new. A huge, huge thank you to everyone for the support lately. I'll leave some comments on the screen. Um, yeah, it's great. I absolutely love to read them. I try and get back to as many as I can as well. So yeah, a huge thank you to everyone who's commented. The ones that are on screen just now as well. I really do appreciate it. And, uh, and yeah, it means a lot to me. So thank you very much. I will also be doing a giveaway as part of this video. So stick around Everton fans. I will be giving some Everton stuff away. Um, so yeah, stick around. At some point, I'll tell you how you can win. Sadly, I myself have never seen a game at Goodison Park, although I'd absolutely love to. It is one of the most, you know, iconic stadiums in Britain, I guess you could say. And um, yeah, fear not, uh, non-Everton fans, if you've never seen a game at Goodison Park before, they won't be leaving here until the 2024-2025 season. So you've still got some time post, you know, pandemic to come and watch the Toffees play. All around Goodison, there are there is like a timeline of the Everton history, which is absolutely class. But look, basically, as we're talking about the stadium today, I won't go into too much detail about the team itself. But if we look at the stadiums here, look, after playing at Stanley Park and Priory Road, Everton moves to a new home, Anfield. That was in 1884. Professionalism in football was creeping in. Everton played Bolton Wanderers in their first FA Cup tie, 1887. They became founding members of the Football League, playing their first game against Accrington, 1888. Yes, Everton founding members, the 12 teams who uh, played in that first season of football. And you can see some of the teams they played on there and their fixtures from that season. They even played third Lanark in January. I hope you can see that. And Camber Slang. So a shout out to all the people who have seen my Scottish videos. I'm sure that's a lot of you. So yeah, drop me a third Lanark in the comments below. I'd be buzzing to see a few of them in there. But yeah, as we move along from their foundation from the Football League, they obviously didn't play third Lanark in the Football League, but that was obviously in a different competition. But yeah, as we move through the years here, obviously we've just seen that Everton move from Stanley Park to play at Anfield. But in 1892, Anfield left, uh, sorry, Everton left Anfield over a rental dispute and moves across Stanley Park to Goodison Park, where they have been ever since. They've been here since 1892. And yeah, they left Anfield over a rental dispute. The owner of Anfield, John Holding, thought he'd set up his own football team to uh, fill his empty stadium or to play in his empty stadium. That football team was, of course, Liverpool, who now play at Anfield. So yeah, Goodison, uh, or sorry, Everton were the uh, rightful owners or they played at Anfield before Liverpool ever did. They didn't own it, of course. There was a rental dispute there that went ahead and uh, obviously they had to leave. But yeah, if it wasn't for them and their rental dispute, then we may not have Liverpool FC and they probably wouldn't be playing here at Goodison Park. So yeah, absolutely amazing to think that they have now been here since 18. 92. Look at this, more Goodison related facts on the side of the stadium here. In 1958, Goodison Park became the first stadium in Britain to install under soil heating. So the club weren't just a uh, pioneer in the Football League and the FA Cup and all the earliest stages of football and professionalism, but they were also pioneers in stadium design as well. And the club shop looks open. Hi there. And there 
there is Anfield behind me and Goodison is just through there. You may be able to see the blue through that sort of bandstandy sort of thing there. But yeah, here I am now in Stanley Park, the park which separates Anfield and Goodison. Yeah, there's like less than a mile between the two, I think. And, um, and yeah, it's the park which separates the two stadiums which Everton have called home. But yeah, as you can see, I'm now equidistant from Anfield and with Goodison behind me. The club shop was open. Yes, non-essential retail is obviously back open in the UK now, buzzing about that. So um, that is also part of the giveaway. So this video today is sponsored by FOCO, a uh, sponsor, a company who have sponsored me on numerous videos now. And um, yeah, as you can see from the images on screen just now, I've been wearing their masks. They're Liverpool masks, say it quietly. This is an Everton video, of course. But they do also stock items from uh, a whole host of clubs all around the UK and all around the world, actually, and national teams so um yeah the first link in the description box will be to their website so do make sure you go and check them out please just click on that link and go go and browse some of their products their ranges are huge from yeah masks that you can still wear um that you'll still have to wear for a while i guess to uh spring and summer items shorts shirts and uh that kind of stuff and they've also got other items on there that you don't have to wear stress relieving toys and that kind of stuff so yeah do go and check them out first link in the description box below i am also doing a giveaway they have given me a package of three masks to give away three face coverings three everton face coverings they're all different um, in there but I have also bought some stuff in the club shop myself so um, yeah if you want to get your hands on these Everton items plus the ones from FOCO then go over to my Instagram like the post that is on screen just now follow me follow them and tag one friend in that post all the information will be on that post that'll also be linked in the description box below or maybe I'll do a pinned comment somewhere and I might do a pinned comment actually to that post so yeah please go to that post like it tag a friend follow me follow them and you could be in with a chance of winning the uh, Everton face mask plus a couple of things which I've picked up from the club shop as well and yeah I'll ship to anywhere in the world even if you're not an Everton fan but you've been watching my videos from somewhere around the world I will um, yeah I'll pick a comment at random no matter who you are or where you come from so yeah there will be more giveaways coming up over the next few weeks as well um, but yeah this is an Everton giveaway so um, yeah go over to Instagram and uh, enter on there thank you very much we are going to be exploring the Bramley Moor dock area very shortly I'm gonna be taking you down there to look where Everton's new stadium will be but first before we do that I need to tell you about the Goodison Park legacy project so the Goodison Park legacy project which allows the club to build on the life-changing and life-saving work of its official charity Everton in the community could include high quality and affordable housing a multi-purpose health center community-led retail spaces a youth enterprise zone office and business facilities and green space which could include a lasting tribute to the club's achievements at Goodison Park combined both developments that is the Goodison Park legacy project and the new Bramley Moor Dock Stadium would help kickstart the regeneration of the Northern Docklands contribute to a 1 billion pound boost to the city region's economy and create up to 15,000 jobs, attract 1.4 million visitors to the city each year and deliver an additional £237 million of societal value. And I will just include some uh, some images that are on the Everton Legacy Project website. On the Everton website, you can find all this information. It's really, really good, actually, um, what they're trying to do here. But I will also include some shots that I've just taken of the exact same places where the Legacy Project's going to be so you can get a feel for what it looks like now versus what it's going to look like in the future when Everton leave. There's basically going to be loads of stuff around the Goodison Park area so they're not just going to knock the stadium down and let the area wither away no they are going to have nods to the fact that Goodison Park was once there which I absolutely love I've been to like I say so many grounds where they leave their home stadium and then it's just left to rot or rumble or crumble and there's you know nothing left there to say that a football club once played there but a team as historic as Everton a ground as historic as Goodison you need to keep something of the past there and I'm so glad they're doing it anyway yeah enough about Goodison enough about Stanley Park even no, it's beautiful. I've got my Everton goodies down here. Remember to go over to Instagram, pinned comment below, go over there and make sure you um, yeah, enter the competition. But yeah, let's leave Stanley Park now, the beauty of Stanley Park, and I've got my goodie bag here, Anfield's over there, Goodison's behind me. Let's leave this area now and head on down to where their new stadium is going to be, Bramley Moor Dock. So yeah, the plan is to rejuvenate this area sort of economically and uh, socially a little bit with the building of the new stadium. As you can see, this wall just here, I should have been able to look in the gate that I'm about to show you just now on screen. However, they are filming the Peaky Blinders in there today. Yeah, look, as you can see there, look, Bramley Moor Dock. Right there, this is where the new stadium is going to be. It's going to be in this area somewhere. And the mock-up images of the stadium actually look like amazing, as you can see on screen just now. 
and like the brick, the steel, the glass design is actually a nod to the historic maritime or sort of warehouse kind of type buildings that you see in this area of Liverpool, which again I will include on screen so you can see kind of where they took inspiration from in the design of the new stadium. Non-match days are set to be just as fun as uh, days when Everton are actually playing, with a fan plaza set to be built as well. The whole area is going to be teeming with toffees eventually, and um, yeah, the, to be specific, the stadium is due to have a capacity of 52,888 people, with I believe an option to extend it, expand it by about 10,000 in the future if needed. A huge thank you to everyone who's watched and got this far in the video. If you have got this far, I guess you've liked it, so please do remember to hit that thumbs up button. I'm going to have to come back and watch Everton play at Goodison before they obviously move here, but yeah, somewhere around here, eventually we are going to see Everton and their new stadium in the style of this kind of building. I love that they've stayed true to their roots in that they're going to have a legacy project at Goodison so they keep something about Goodison in the area and that they've also stayed true to the roots of the new place that they're coming in that they have the stadium designed around these buildings so it kind of doesn't look out of place and that it fits within the kind of culture of the area already. Again, thank you so much for watching. Please do remember to hit that like button and subscribe if you're new. There is way more football content coming and we're so close to 20k subs as well. Do also go to the pinned comment Comment to win the Everton stuff that I bought in the club shop and the uh, face masters as well. Everything is officially licensed on FOCO as well, so you know you're only getting the very best. Thanks again for watching. I'll leave some videos around my head as ever so you can keep watching my content. Cheers, and I'll see you in the next one.